Welcome back to AP Psychology in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. You are going to be happy you clicked on this video. Literally, no joke. This video will explain the proper way to remember things. This video explains methods on encoding information into your long-term memory. If you are an actor trying to remember lines, if you are a student trying to remember information for a test, or if you're just a simple man trying to remember what day his monthly anniversary is to his girlfriend that won't get off his ass about it every time, then you've come to the right place. For this video, I will be using one of my favorite albums, American Idiot by Green Day as an example if I were trying to memorize all of the songs in the album. First, let's talk about mnemonic devices. I'm sure you know what these are. There are plenty of examples. A good example you probably don't know is the method of low-key. This is where you envision a place in your head that you know well and associate items you want to remember with specific locations along the way. For example, if I wanted to remember the song Give Me Novocaine in American Idiot, I can envision my long drive to a summer camp I used to work at and a hospital I always used to go by. I can associate Novocaine with that hospital, therefore helping me to remember the song name. Now let's picture each song name in a list. Because I know a lot of things in a life you need to remember are in lists. The serial position effect tells us that I am more likely to remember the first things, primacy effect, and the last few things, recency effect, on the list. This means the middle things are often forgotten. That being said, a good method to utilize here might be chunking. This is where I might split the album into separate groups and try to remember each individual group of songs, rather than the big long list we had before. We can take this even further by using categories and hierarchies. Like for example, I can separate each song by the intensity, or I can separate each song by what is said in the lyrics, or maybe which songs I like more. But finally, let me lay down the biggest truth there is. Learning too much at once overloads your memory and makes you remember less. That's right, the spacing effect is the one that tells us that spreading out learning across time is much more valuable to encoding memories than trying to learn something all in one sitting. On the screen now are AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll show the answers now, and I will see you in the next one.